This plant is Coleonema pulchrum sunset gold. It's an evergreen shrub. It gets about uh, typically 18 inches high by about four feet wide. Although if you use it in shade, uh, it, can, it can get to up to four feet tall, as you'll see in a later photograph. So um, know that if you put it in shade, you're going to get a little more height to it than you would in full sun. The full sun, for whatever reason, seems to retard the growth. Uh, it has a pink flower that's very, pro very profuse in the uh, late winter, typically around February and March and uh, it is hardy down to the low 20s in our area. Uh, it does like some good drainage. I found that these can struggle if they're getting too much water. So um, uh, on slopes or in sandier soils, they're going to do a little better than if they're sitting in a low spot in heavier soils. Uh, they can take full sun. If they have full sun, they certainly need a little more water, as you'll see in a couple of these photos. When they're out in full sun and they're not getting enough water, they don't do near as well as the ones that are uh, getting a little more moisture. Um, maintenance is great on these. There's no maintenance if they're put in the right spot. So I like to space them about 42 inches on center if I'm going to be using more than one. And away, I like to keep them away from the edge of the planting, probably two and a half feet, 30 inches or so, so that you're not forced to prune the edges to where you get that woody uh, side growth uh, that may not sprout new uh, growth as the plant ages. So um, that's how I would treat those if I'm doing a group planting. In design, I don't love these in big groups. I find that the uh, color is so distinctive and so strong that if you're going to put them in a big group, uh, it, it screams a little too loudly, uh, as you see in this huge uh, planting in this center island here. I like to use them, as you can see in this photograph, where they're more of an accent and, uh, and it's a little more understated. And also that's going to depend on whether you have the lighter green color because it's partly shady or whether you have the bright yellow. And bright yellow for me is not a color to get too crazy with because it overwhelms everything else. Um, so use this as an accent. I like combining it with other colored foliages. Uh, I use it in combination with Loripetalum Plum Delight and uh, Berberus Crimson Pygmy. Well, either one of the red Berberus. Uh, it's a nice accent and they play nicely together. Also dark green foliages of, of various kinds. This just is a very nice accent. And the texture is nice. If you uh, have a windy area, this uh, moves nicely in the wind and, and can be used for that uh, characteristic of the plant. So Coleonema Sunset Gold. Uh, I highly recommend this plant. Uh, I would just say use it in moderation because of its strong impact in a plant design. Just don't want to get it too carried away and have it overwhelm the rest of what you're doing with your plant design.